champ is here! The champ is here! The champ is here! where we bring all kids of all riders together um, from amateur to begin from beginner to pro it doesn't matter we um, I own a marketing company but my passion is motocross so we focus on helping parents obtain sponsors get resumes um, some people don't know like if you should use race gas over um, getting suspension um, so we cover everything from health nutrition support um, discounts exposure everything anyways what i wanted to say is today we're going to be interviewing the um, instructors we're going to be interviewing the founders hopefully rich because i've always wanted to interview him that'd be like the coolest thing ever and then also we would love to get some of the kids um interviewed and then it's all going to be syndicated on our show on youtube at mxn so that they understand about the foundation and um, what it stands for and then how um, these kids love the foundation so really that's what i wanted to say you can learn more about mxn later but i want y'all to know that we're going to interview whoever wants to be interviewed i am here with the one and only <laughs> even though it says only one the one and only harold listen and this is my microphone everybody who watches the erica and kyle show knows that we had um, very interesting microphones. That's, have you seen our show yet? I have seen your show. Did you see the alligator head he pulled out? I did see an alligator head the other day, yes, I did. And I, I was going to bring that, yeah. that today, when I saw it last night when I was packing, I was going to bring it and I'm like, man, if Kyle does any interviews, he needs to have his, we're just going to have the alligator head come out. All right, well, the next time we have Next time it's going to be alligator head. I'm going to bring, I actually have a monkey skull that's painted gold that was given to me as a trophy in lieu of a thousand dollars for winning a three three moto event once you took the monkey skull well, and blew well, out a thousand dollars yeah because the promoter said oh didn't, yeah didn't quite get the uh adaptive turnout that he was hoping for oh. so after i won all three motos i kind of had to he gave me the monkey skull in front of about 50 kids so i had to keep my be calm cool and collective see if mate. kyle was offered a thousand dollars for that monkey skull he would have easily quickly and didn't think about it take the monkey skull Really? Absolutely. Well, see, I was looking for the thousand dollars. I know that. Because it was in Virginia, it cost a couple bucks to get there. I went I'm there sure I three did. weeks before. I went there three weeks before to ride the track and help promote the event. So. See, you hear that word promote? Because that's why we are connected. It's all about helping the community, oh, right? Absolutely, man. I've been here. We've been here 37 years mm -hmm. and promoting and you know, racing and just making it. Having 37 a good time. years? Yeah, I've raced 37 years now. So don't do any math. Don't, uh, don't add it up. So I want to know about Only One Inspiration. Well, Only One Inspiration, first of all, we're here at English Town Raceway Park to uh, to speak at the RPM Foundation. And uh, I think it's my third or fourth year in a row doing it. I'm pretty proud to do that. And uh, it's here to talk to kids about overcoming adversity and a little bit of anti-bullying, also safety. You know, just kind of like what it's like to uh, race motocross and grow up with uh, Only One, mm -hmm. Only One Hand. And, um, you know, to me, you know, one of my one of my sayings is only one. And what's it mean to you? So everybody, everybody in life is going to have to overcome some type of adversity at some time or another. Maybe not yesterday, maybe not today or tomorrow, but at some point you're going to have to overcome something. And, you know, everybody's got to Even if it's an internal adversity, people can have a fear over something no, or anything. Absolutely. And absolutely. it can completely relate to any of that. Absolutely. I agree. And um, I just, uh, I, I feel very blessed that I've been in this motocross community most of my life and it's taken me so many great places around the country, out of the country, you know. My, you should go to New Zealand with us. With my, with my silly dirt bike as I call it and it's cool, you know. Um, New Zealand sounds like something we should probably talk about. Yes. Um, but uh, I'll be I'll be at a school talking to 300 kids at one time and in 20 seconds I can, I can just have them floored. I'll ask them one question. Do all 300 of you want to be exactly alike? And of course they'll chant, no, no, no. And I'll be like, well, if you don't all want to be exactly alike, why in the world would you pick on each other for being different? Amen. That and, is awesome. And you can hear a pen drop in the room, you know? And they're all, now I have 300 kids thinking like, wow, why did we pick on little Harold yesterday or little Billy or whatever it may be, you know? But that's just, Erica. Erica, you know? They like know? to pick on me. You know, short, curly hair, you know? And I'm you know, Why are you going to get picked on? How'd you get involved with RPM? RPM, well, I knew Ryan back oh, in the day. Okay. We raced together back in the day. 
And then um, it's just a, you know, it, it turns out, you know, due to something tragic that happened, it turns into a positive event and, you know, they're out helping others. You speak at schools, so can you tell people how they could have you come and speak at their school, especially our motocross riders that are following our show, because our show is freaking cool, that's all there is to it. So I want these motocross riders to be able to know what they can do at their school to have you come in so that now it's associated to these kids. Well, the best thing, the easiest thing to do is uh, onlyoneinspiration.com, shoot me an email, let me know, you know, where your school's at, a little bit about you, and um, I'll send you out some info, and you can drop it off in a principal's office, and and give them the, the literature that I'll send you. Yeah, and if and you'll send all of it to me again, then we'll okay. post it up on our website so people have it to download, they can get right to it. We want to make ship easy so nobody has excuses as to why you're not there. I wanted to um, kind of highlight the fact that I personally believe from raising one and being so active in the motocross youth community, these kids are special, they are intelligent, they have the technical skills and the processing that is way beyond a lot of the kids at their own age, and they get picked on because they're special, they don't relate to somebody who wants to just sit there and play a game all day, and they get bullied and they get picked on, and that's why I think you're so important and to bring that out. And, and a lot of times kids pick on other kids because they're different, but like I said, those same 300 kids that's right. don't want to be exactly alike. That's right. But yet they pick on somebody because they're different. And it uh, doesn't make any sense it to doesn't. me. Because, uh, you know, I was definitely a different kid growing up. Absolutely. You know tell I mean? them that this is not something that was from an accident. Oh, yeah. That was, this was birth. I was born yes. with one hand. And I'll tell kids I'm, I'm very fortunate, lucky, and actually happy I was born with one hand. That may sound silly, but I'm actually happy I was born with one hand because right. it defines who I am. It's given me so many different opportunities in life. Yes. Because I'm different, you know. Right. And, hey, and the main thing is, it's okay to be different. It is. Because if everybody was the same, we'd be walking around like zombies. And like, what is that? You know what I mean? And I think it's important that the kids realize this. But I'm going to tell you, I think the parents play a huge role in this. Oh, absolutely. Because I had a person call, um, send me a message on Facebook one day and say, I just think it's so cool that you let Kyle go out dressed as a ninja or a military person in full dress up. I said, let. What the hell you mean, let? That's who he is. He right. wanted to be a fucking ninja that day. I'm good. Right. Hey. And so they do that. Oh, oh cut! Sorry. Seven letter word there. That's a seven. Wow, yeah. that's but a hell they, they do that. So hey, at no more Free, videos, dude. we were at Freestone, and um, I was oh. setting up the RV, and I heard out the window when Kyle went out. And of course, he's in full military gear. Right. You know, Kyle doesn't just have military no. shirt. No, he's, he's he rocking was, it all. He was a Navy SEAL, and he goes out, and I hear the kids say, "Why are you always dressed up like that? Why are you always in dress-up clothes?" And Kyle said. Because I like it, but I'm watching his body language and I can tell he's trying to stay and be cool for a second. Right. Sure enough, <laughs> he walks in and he's like, Mommy? I said, Yes. Am I weird? I said, Yeah, you are. That's and he looked nice. at me, I said, That's okay. I said, Am I weird? He said, Yeah. I said, And it's awesome, isn't it? He said, It is. Hey, he's he very was, it's okay. He's well, very but I didn't say, Yeah, you're weird. You need to act like this because they're going to think you're weird. That's right. what parents do. And don't wear that because people are going to think we're weird. Right. No, I need a ninja to protect me when I go get my oil change. Right. So I had my ninja. And when he decided to be a right. construction worker and he had his imaginary friend Buster with us, if I had anything that needed to be built, it was built. But I think that the kids need to know, but the parents need to allow their kids to be who they are and accept them. Exactly. And I that's totally how agree. And that's where it starts. It is. That's and so me and Kyle are weird. So we say, he doesn't say four letter words, but he wants to. He told me, Mom, it sounds cool when you goes, can I? No. No. Okay. Not yet. Not yet. Gotta wait, you gotta wait a little while. Yeah. So, no, but I think this is very, very important, and it's actually the whole entire mission of MXN to really, it's not just about motocross. There's so much more than motocross. These, the kids are still little people, and they, yeah. they want you to be proud of them, and they want you to watch them do something else and be proud. So, and the bullying, there's so much to learn. So yeah, I think there's a lot great. to learn out there, absolutely. Yes, well, and, thank uh, you. And your son is definitely special. He's awesome. He is, he is. Without thinking about MXN or okay. nothing, just the first thing that comes to your mind, what does Zen mean? Zen? Uh, art and Zen of just about anything. Ah, I like that club. You know? The art, yeah, art and Zen that. of just about anything. You're going to be motocross or life. Or, you know, I was on the cover, front page of the Orlando Times one time. It said the art and Zen of motorcycle walking. You were walking dirt bikes in the driveway and a, and a photographer came by from... Uh, and when was that article? Oh, that article was like in 1980. Did you like that? Six or But something. listen, I wasn't really trying to be funny even though it was that I asked you that. But 
isn't it like the universe's way that you were in the art and Zen of yes. Motocross racing? Now you, it makes it, the universe it brings sense. people yeah, together, doesn't it? That's totally what I'm talking it. about. So, totally believe it. All right, yep, well, thank absolutely. you so much for thank everything you, you do thank and you. for being an awesome friend to us. All right, bud. You're good. <laughs> That is Izzy, MX Center and Dan Callahan student. And Dan is an MX Zen partner and sponsor. I'm going to let him introduce himself and tell you what he does. Okay, my name's uh, Dan Callahan. Um, I've been a uh, motocross trainer now since the end of 2011, so we're going on six years. And um, I've been racing pro since 2012, been doing 17 years now. Um, you keep talking. I was seeing this thing with both my students about MXN, and then uh, me and Erica had a long conversation and started talking about it, and I thought it was awesome. You know, uh, I'm all about helping kids and, uh, you know, trying to help them out with sponsorships and parents and all that as well. I actually had an older brother of mine pass away, and, uh, you know, I uh, got my, like, I got, after that I was really driven and had my, got my pro license shortly after that. And then uh, when he passed, you know, it just gave me a lot of reality on life. And uh, when, like I was saying, after I got my license, I actually uh, blew out my knee really bad. And I had a buddy ask me, he's like, hey, you know, mind help me out? And I was like, all right, sure. He came back and he's like, dude, can you help me out again? And I was like, I was like, he, you know, he went to a couple top facilities. Like, I learned more with you in a couple hours. And I was like, really, man? He's like, you know, he was really talking to me. And I'm like, all right. So I started training him and he actually started really winning and doing awesome. And I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm really good. This is my calling. And I don't know if it's the guy upstairs or, you know, my brother passing all that that made me go into this. And, uh, you know, my whole, my whole school is literally motivation off of that and in memory of yeah, him at the same like, time. It lost my lips chat. Um, so that's kind of how I, I got into it. And, uh, how and often I'm, do you train? Just about every day. Um, you know, like I said, we're going six years and not in a cocky way, but we're, uh, you know, we have, I think, up to five Red Wing Championships now. Uh, the school, you know, does the talking and, and uh, I'm really, really thankful. I couldn't be, uh, you know, I don't mean that in any cocky way at all. Um, you know, it's, it's okay just, to be cocky. It is. It's just uh, awesome how it's been going. That's right. I, I changed a lot of the way uh, teaching is. You know, I kind of really, it's, you have to connect. Like I said, you can be right. the fastest guy in the world. It doesn't mean you're related, you know. Um, so with the kids, you know, I'm That I'm is your with, calling is the kids. Because the kids are the hardest really to connect with because they have so many different little ways of learning. And do you think that the sport is physically or mentally or both? I think it's 100% uh, both. I'm sorry, not, not mentally, like both. Um, you know, there comes a time where, you know, I, I say there's sometimes you got local and a national rider sometimes. I mean, it's uh, who can handle pressure, but I also teach the kids that, um, you know, try to make them mentally strong because um, you know, motocross is awesome, but motocross ain't everything. So, um, you know, I hope that all these guys go pro, but, um, you know, motocross also led me into the medical field. Um, you know, I had my knee blown out and then, uh, you know, things to make me start thinking. And, uh, you know, obviously I got my pro license, but when I got a pro license, things didn't go as good as I wanted it. And uh, I took a couple classes and really, really liked it. So, motocross also developed a lot of mental strength for me and I teach the kids about you know always chasing their dreams and going after what they want because you know it leads to a lot of places. It, it keeps them broad and yeah. their mindset having a broader way of thinking than being so limited. Yeah. How did you get involved with RPM? Okay so RPM, um, Ryan was a good friend of mine. I've known him literally since uh, I pretty much started. He was always back at ACO days and uh, you know he started becoming a really really good friend of mine. Um, you know. I have this one story I'd never forget. It. Uh, my first truck, um, we were helping one day, we were moving toolboxes for them, and it fell on the back of my truck. And we both looked at each other and we just started laughing, but it put a dent in my truck in the back of my uh, tailgate. And every time I would load up my bike, um, it would actually help me load up the bike <laughs> because it was like it would stop the bike. And um, just a funny story, but um, yeah, he was just a good guy. Always a guy that actually would help people out the track, always trying to give them pointers. So, you know, I kind of, um, you know, he used uh, use him a little bit too for like some motivation with my school. It's uh, you know, my brother passed and actually he passed away kind of shortly after that. Um, so you know, it just uh, 
teaching and doing everything that I do, it kind of uh, all puts a purpose to it. Right? Using those as an inspiration to continue. Yeah, yeah. And then teaching, you know, it's just the fact that um, seeing how he was with kids too, it just made me want to do better with the school. So you think that there should be a backup plan besides motocross? Because you said you're, you're 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 going into the medical field. So you're saying motocross shouldn't be anything. Education is important to you, obviously. Yeah, um, education is really important, I think. Uh, you know, there's... Motocross is a uh, very, very, very uh, tough sport. So, you know, hopefully everybody does go pro. But at the same time, education is so important. Um, like what I say, the medical field I'm going into, I want to do my school as long as I possibly can. Uh, you know, the, the school and the medical and combine it, to be honest Absolutely. with you. Absolutely. Well, um, that's the best thing to do is to combine them because yeah. that's what they need. I mean, what you're doing in the medical is, it relates to motocross. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It really, really does. And like I said, I'm doing a. Uh, like a couple of my guys right now, I'm uh, doing heart rate monitoring, so we're doing everything that we possibly can. Every year, I'm adding new new stuff to the school, getting better and better. Um, you know, I'm always at the big events, the Red Lands. I'm usually at Mini O's, all yeah, the top. You go to all the events and support your riders. Yes, yeah. just awesome, and that's what ma I really believe. That's what makes you stand out from the other trainers. Well, I mean, the biggest part is really you do have a way to connect with kids, and that's very powerful. But you're always at these big events, and you're there to support them, and you're right there at the podium, or you're right there at the gate with them. Um, and that's big kids. Yeah. They need that. They need that role model and that person to know that they, they, you got their back. Did you have that role model when you were their age now? Um, Who was your role model? I'd say my dad. Uh, my dad, I mean, me and my dad still talk about all the times we went racing. And, and, I mean, we went 2005, 06, 07. We were literally every single weekend. I mean, we were, and uh, we went to get back. We had so many memories going. Tennessee, uh, you know, Florida, traveling all over, and that's the one thing also about motocross racing is it's family oriented, and like, I know if I didn't do motocross, I wouldn't have spent that time with my family and my dad and all that, so it's, it's huge, it's awesome, um, you know, and then all the families you meet, I mean, these, some of these kids are going to be, like, the guys I've been racing with for years, um, I got a couple buddies, um, that, and Roth, and a few of them that I've been with, uh, you know, I know forever, I mean, we've been friends since I started. And a lot of these guys and these kids, they don't even know it. These are going to be like their best friends when they get older. And, uh, right. you know, I still keep in touch with some of the guys who stopped riding and that were one of my good friends. Uh, you know, it's, it's awesome. It is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, and that's, so Dan is one of, he is a partner for MXN. And the difference between a partner and a sponsor, sponsors will provide discounts um, and will help with their promotion. And that helps the, um, our members get discounts and be able to afford the sport. But, um, and we also help the sponsor by for doing it by promoting them. But a partner is on a different level because they actually share our values and our belief and our mission. And it was very clear that um, Dan was the one for, you know, to be partnering with for MXN with his passion for youth, with his passion for the um, health and nutrition and the riding. So it's a no-brainer. So um, it, it'd be great for people to look them up. Get out there. Um, you have questions. He's always able to help with questions. Um, but uh, you definitely want to visit his facility. I think we should have a Zen Fest at your facility one yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, that would be awesome. I think awesome. It, we should definitely do it because I didn't. When you invited us out and we went out there, of course I thought you had a great place. But I, dang, I was like, holy crap! That place was like, whoa, it is amazing. And the water system's almost, almost fully done. complete. I got it halfway up right now. I had to save some money to do it and invest in what I do and. Uh, you know, I'm going to make that track the best as possible, and, you know, I, I don't know if you guys have seen that I was actually, before Loretta's, I built a whole Ten Commandments section and wow. uh, a wall just to get ready for some of my That's guys awesome. for Loretta's, and, uh, you know, we'll do whatever it takes to be at that level and, and uh, you know, keep getting better and better. Oh, it'll get there. It's just the time and the preparation because you've got what it takes and you have a marketing company and you've got great riders and you got a support system and you're making it happen. So it's going to get there, it's just in time, and uh, right. hopefully that'll be soon. We'll do a Zen Fest, and we'll hopefully have some, like, uh, we'll get creative and do, like, some free Loretta's training for the people that make it. Let them come out and, you know, hire the track to get out there and work with you and do the Ten Commandments and stuff, how you um, customize it for a lot of riders. Even if they're not members, people need to see this, and they need to get out there and um, connect with you, because it's awesome. I support it. So, um, that's actually how we met Dan. Yeah. Kyle has been with RTM since he started. He was four. And I he still worked. got the picture for him. Oh, and that's <laughs> the thing about the picture is that 
you, you worked with them, and I didn't really, we were new in the sport as far as the little, he's always been in it, and so whatever, we didn't, I met everybody blind, we were done. But then I get the pictures from Mitchell Farr, and there's a picture of Kyle, and he's four, and I mean, his style and the way he's looking in his eyes, it was amazing, and you kind of see Dan back there, and there's another picture of Kyle and Dan, and there's just a vibe in that picture that, because we have pictures of everybody with Kyle, you know, the different, but that picture, it spoke so much, and I, I don't know, unless you could just feel energy, you wouldn't get it, but you look at that picture, and I was like, man, this guy, like, really connected, and we really didn't even really start talking until MXN, and that'll tell you, he was four years old, and I always said, I ever had anybody I want Kyle to work with, he's got to work with Dan, because I can just tell that they connected, and it happened. Say what you want, visualize it, and it happens. It may be four years universe. later, yeah. but it happens, right? And if it's meant to be, it will. So we thank you for being um, a partner and a sponsor. Um, he sponsors also, so um, Zenners get a discount. And for um, being who you are and working with the kids and having the same passion and for approaching us and saying, I want to join you and make a difference in motor car for these kids. And for that, we thank you, and I believe we're all going to do some really great things here. Yep, and, and that's exactly what she said, you know, I mean, anything to help these kids, and, and honestly, to make a change, I mean, uh, you know, what they're doing in MXN is awesome, uh, I think it's a really good thing, and, uh, you know, helping these kids out. Here he comes, the noise maker. Any advice for future riders, upcoming riders, the young ones, 50 cc's, all the ones that are younger on the bike, any advice that you would give? Um, you know, really is about learning technique and control, you know. Um, that's one advice right there is just to really learn. But, you know, don't just go out there and try to go fast and, you know, um, that's too, super important. And uh, watch the fast guys, you know, and uh, hydrate. That's one thing that's really, really important. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. And you mentioned that it's a family sport. You mentioned that um, you need your, you, your father was your biggest role model. Now, do you find that this is what made you like where you are now is just having that support from your family? Do you think that it's important to have that family support? Oh, yeah, uh, 100%. I mean, uh, you know, I wouldn't be where I'm at if it wasn't where I'm for sure. Uh, you know, and obviously with my brother and stuff that happened, it made me realize some things in life. Um, you know, that are really, really important. But yeah, 100%, I mean, you know, and, and um, that's another thing, so you're saying about future, you know. Listen to your mom, listen to your dad, you know what you're talking about. Um, you know, they spend a lot of money in this sport, and uh, you know, they want to see you do good, so respect what you got. <laughs> and where can everyone find you on social media? Um, mainly right now, uh, Instagram is at Callahan MX School, and then uh, my Facebook is Dan Callahan, and you'll see the picture with Callahan MX School in that. Uh, my website will be up soon, um, but right now, honestly, um, a lot of word of mouth is how I like it, and uh, you know, I will put my website up soon, soon for sure. But right now, uh, message me, um, you know, on Facebook, and uh, anybody you know that's at my school, get my number up there, and give me a call. And if you don't get from, hear from me, make sure you call me again. I'll yeah, make sure. Yeah, because he's in school. And the other thing is, for all the MXN members, if you log into your portal, your members on the membership site, all, right, guys, all of our that partners is do it and sponsors. For the track, uh, Stand by. <laughs> there is no more track time, so you can head back to your pit. That's it. We are done on the track. We are done. So you can log into your membership portal, and your discounts that you receive are listed there with your um, sponsors' information, how to contact them, everything. So get into your membership portal. There's a lot of information there. All right. Thank you, Dan. Thank you so much, Dan. Yeah. Okay. I am at Raceway Park with Harold Glisson with Only One Inspiration, Chris Tunnel with Moto Tech. See? Moto Tech. And Ryan Maya. He is a professional, um, the trickster, the freestyle. So, real quick, before I get on my rambles that everybody knows I do, tell me your affiliation with Moto Tech. My affiliation with Moto Tech, it turns out that I'm the newest. Uh, I'm the newest. I'm the newest. No, 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 Motor I'm the newest. Tech trailer dealer on the East Coast. Glisten trailer sale. Woo! We gotta get that up so on the website. You gotta do a whippa. This trailer whippa! Is it's getting left here with me. And I'm gonna start taking it to the races and show it what it's all about. It's all about quality. Yeah, it's all about quality, man. It's all about quality. If you think buy something that's gonna last forever. So what this you know what means I mean? is, because you know when I love people, that's who we go with. We're going to get a Moto Tech trailer. We're going to Harold Glisson's dealer. 
So I'll get that on our app, and I'm going to get that on our website, and all my four million social medias. So look it up. Do you have a website yet? I do not have a website Harold, yet. Harold, my co-founder is Harold. But. Harold, get a website sample going for Glisten. Yeah, well, you can you can reach me at onlyoneinspiration.com. So. Uh, only one inspiration, Dot right com. there. You know? So Ryan, what is your affiliation with Logotech? Uh, I just met this guy two days ago. It's funny how the world works, isn't it? The trailer pulls up to my mechanic's house, he gets out, let's go to the east coast and ride dirt bikes. So go, okay. Wait, so you just met him, a guy pulls up, so like, did he ask if you want candy or anything? Like, hey, oh, no, you want candy? Yeah. Oh, okay, <laughs> so you just jump in the car and go, well, you know what? I'm all about spontaneity, and I'm, like, I'm known for that. from the, uh, the next fail folks, the friend here. Oh, yes, Don. Next fail, Don Corbin. MX fails. So MX fails. That. That's right. And actually, when we first MX started fails. MXN, take trailers. when we first started MXN, Don actually told me I need to connect with him, and we were supposed to. It didn't happen right away because you don't force things that don't. Maybe. It's not the right timing. And now we're there. Right. So he is now helping out with Moto Tech and the face mm -hmm. of Moto Tech, and this is the owner right. of Moto Tech. Tell us what makes Mototech special and what is it? Very lightweight, very tough. When I started thinking of looking for people that uh, could be faces of the company, I couldn't help but to think about the folks that I met at over at Only One, Harold Glisson. True example of tough uh, grit that's just unparalleled to anything else and that's what our trailer is all about. I challenge anyone out there in the world to find a better product than what I have to offer. You're going to learn a lot here real soon with the guys that we that we have got uh, paired up with. They're going to start showing you some really cool things about the Mototech trailers. I appreciate everybody letting me involved in the video, but yeah, you know, this is really for you guys as well. This is great. So as a woman and a shopper and a person who always asks a lot of questions and a believer in everybody getting knowledge, we have a lot of moms that are single moms that are in motocross. Why, why would I choose this over a regular trailer, like a different type trailer? Well, generally speaking, women, when they're looking for trailers for their family, they want all the comforts of home. They want to be able to relax, just like you would in your living room. And with our product, you can do that. But if a bike falls over, you're not going to mar, scratch, dent, or poke a hole through the wall. You can literally can wow. crash your dirt bike right into the side of my trailer. And you're going to hurt the dirt bike. He's going to show that today, right? Are you gonna... showing that today? Yeah, it's it a... already happened today. We've already done quite a few. You know what? Right? Yeah. This is valuable information for I hit, people. I hit the trailer with a baseball bat as hard as I could swing it. A hundred times. Then I, and then yeah, a hundred times, no less. And the echo in the woods of Indiana wow. was, was incredible. Our viewers are going to want to see And then I threw a ten pound bowling ball at it. Do you okay, have, we have well, you know what? <clears throat> we, were get, we will get that document, that footage, and also this is great information for people who go to Minios because everybody hits people's trailers, <laughs> golf carts. There's no organizing or uh, like any structure at K uh, Minios. People are doing donuts. I think when we went last year, there was like five um, RVs and trailers that got ran into by either dirt bikes or golf, golf carts. carts. Right. So yeah. everybody okay. in the motocross industry anybody needs a moto tech. Right? Yes, Another thing about this could that, be mine. Yeah, not only lives, heat has air conditioning. Whoa! Beds that fold down inside. What? The comforts of home. That's a mansion. Inside a trailer. Yeah, it's a mansion of a trailer. Well, that kind of answered my question that showers, I asked him. Toilets, when I said, anything. "Why would a woman want to buy it?" I cannot drive our RV, but I can pull a trailer. And you but, can have it customized for whatever your needs are. Yeah, Anything and I cannot want, go you know, to take Kyle somewhere if we're going to stay overnight in just a regular trailer because I'm not peeing in a cup. Well, you can have a bathroom built in it. And that, an ambassador would this have to great. review this and have to put this up on Twitter and the Instagram followers yes. and everybody we'll so we can get it out there. That's awesome. I would like, and next then would like to thank Chris Kyle. and Ryan and Carol okay. for the opportunity to present this trailer because I think it's very valuable to know more about your options and as well know, know that we can like actually go as moms on our own when we need to and have our accommodation. That was a center so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 trailer, with, my helmet. with my helmet and all that. And now that helmet's going to need to be replaced. And we will have more footage. We will get whatever you want to prove that this is the trailer to go with. And we're going to be working with Mototech as partners at MXN because we believe in empowering you guys with information but also the best product out there.
right. Thank and, you guys and, for your thank time. You, thank and you. Mototech's slogan is, don't Woo! just get a trailer, get the trailer. Oh, like a Mototech trailer. That's exactly right. Where can thank they you follow folks. you on social media? Thank you. Yes. Yeah, mototechtrailers.com for the website and uh, Facebook okay. page and Instagram. Where can they find you on Instagram? Oh, twist, T-W-I-S-T, seven, two, four. Simple as that. Harold, want to put a plug in? Where can we uh, find you, Harold? Only one inspiration at yahoo.com. Only one inspiration.com. And we are mxn.com. We are mxn.com. Right. Over and out.